right now, the other big story kicking around, aside from the end of global warming as we know it, which is pretty major, um, the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court uh, has made a ruling that the current voting age, which limits voting to those 18 years or older, is in theory against the Bill of Rights, which is a very interesting piece of law, the Bill of Rights, which is offered honoured in the breach and occupies an uneasy and slightly ambiguous place in our legal system and, if you like, in our, in our constitutional arrangements. But um, the Supreme Court did this at the behest of a bunch of ill-disguised young Labour and Green activists funded by, well, we just don't know who they're funded by. Um, and now the Prime Minister says... We're going to have a vote on the voting age. It'll have to be 75% in Parliament. We're going to have a debate. It's going to be an issue. And there have been interesting reactions uh, to that and amongst those interesting reactions and important reactions because they clearly would be able to stymie in Parliament any vote that needed a 75% approval rating. Uh, One of the groups that's reacted is the National Party. And Paul Goldsmith, Paul, what are you wearing your justice spokesperson hat on this uh, today. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Justice spokesperson for the National Party, Paul Goldsmith. First up, Paul, what's the party's official line on lowering the voting age to 16? Uh, well, we're, we're not in favour of it. We think the current age of 18 is uh, just fine and um, perfectly justified. It's been that way for half a century. And um, so, uh, you know, we think that's that's where it should stay. Yeah, I hear him kill on national radio yesterday because I do uh, read Twitter occasionally. Said to you, oh, yeah, but we all thought that just men voting should stay as well. And she made some comparison, I guess, to the suffragette movement and this movement and the youth voting movement. Do you think it's a fair comparison? Well, not particularly. Uh, Look, it's for every society to decide, you know, who they want to vote and when. Um, most countries around the world, you, you've got to have a starting point somewhere, 16, 18, 21. Uh, most countries have it at 18. Uh, there's lots of, there's plenty of good reasons why it should be at 18 in terms of how uh, it in with other pieces of law. Uh, and uh, we don't think a case has been made to change it to 16. I, I read the judgment uh, from the Supreme Court and actually the, the dissenting judgment from um, Judge Koss for the... I thought very powerful, uh, pointing out the good reasons for it. But you know, the, the, the main issue here is um, look, the Supreme Court has done its thing. There's a process, and the Parliament would go through. We have to respond to it in six months. Uh, but what was striking was the fact that the Prime Minister just grabbed this thing uh, with uh, uh, unrestrained glee uh, and said they're going to bring in a, a piece of legislation straight away. Why? Because she just wants to do anything that distracts uh, the, 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 the conversation and the topic of conversation away from uh, the cost of living crisis and this government's complete failure to do anything in, in the important areas that they need to be focused on. Yeah, so and we have a shockwave coming this afternoon from Adrian Orr and the Reserve Bank, which is going to push Precisely. mortgage so rates they, up they, even they further. They want to be talking about 16-year-olds voting. They want to talk about eight weeks. They want to talk about uh, anything, anything other than um, what's actually happening in the economy and what's really confronting New Zealanders in terms of how they uh, you know, can afford to buy the food that they need to put on the table. Yeah. Paul, if you were to read stuff in mainstream media, this whole decision by the Supreme Court was just a, a group of schoolgirls in Wellington who thought they'd stand up and do it for themselves. So look at the background of those young people. Uh, suggest that they aren't, that somewhere behind the scenes are a group of adults who are guiding and funding them. Does that concern you? Oh, well, I mean, the, uh, the, the, um, uh, you know, I, I'm generally encouraging of uh, young people getting involved and in campaigning about things. Um, so, you know, I'm not, you know, good luck to them, good on them. Uh, and they probably would turn to support from somebody. Uh, to give them some advice. Uh, but yes, uh, I mean, I wouldn't think that this is some kind of, um, uh, you know... Um, uh, School social it's, it's studies project that went a bit hard, far. It seems yeah, to be yeah, far not, more organised, far more strategic than that. Yes, it's not happening in a vacuum. That's fine. Yeah, uh, And I think you'll find that the Green Party in particular has long campaigned... Uh, and Gold Gold Rama has got a bill in the in the uh, Gold Riz Garaman, so, don't you misname her, Paul? That's rude. Oh, sorry. Uh, but anyway, so she, she she's very focused on these things. 
Uh, but like I say, they're always focused on this stuff and not, not what I think is the important thing. I mean, when you think of the Greens, I mean, I've been focusing on law and order and the ram raids and all that sort of stuff. Uh, the, the Greens uh, policy on law and order is uh, that we've got actually got a... We're very mean because we, um, in theory, dock the benefit payments for people who have warrant out for their arrest and are on the run. Uh, and uh, they're campaigning to make sure that those people who are on the run still get their benefits. Um, so I think that gives you a good idea of where they're coming from when it comes yeah. to law and order. So. Paul, Paul, if 16 is <laughs> too young, well, where's the counterfacts? Well, maybe we should up the voting age. <laughs> no. Now, well, look, the I, brain doesn't, f- the human brain doesn't fully form till 25. You don't stabilise till 25. It's like a dog. It, You've it, got to wait till a dog's seven or eight before it's got a, even the, the sense that God gave a mule. Yeah, so if yeah, you're no, against no, I, lowering the grip, why don't we raise it? I think I think uh, I think the argument would be a pretty strong one that you know we're fundamentally a conservative party. Uh, it's been eighteen. Society hasn't fallen over. Uh, it works well. Uh, let's stick with that. But it's a good point in terms of uh, which I, I find I find puzzling a little bit from the from the court decision is to, um, if you look at the justice sector as a whole, um, sixteen and seventeen year olds, of course, are dealt very differently uh, than 18-year-olds yeah. when it comes to the justice system, uh, presumably because they think they're not fully uh, responsible or, 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 or in a different way and should be treated very, very differently uh, mm. in the youth court and everything like that. And, and so that logic doesn't seem to flow. Uh, 18 is essentially to, uh, our age right. of majority, isn't it, in New Zealand? And responsibility. And yeah. The, yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, so anyway, Paul, do you think Jacinda Ardern has got this sparkly new thing called the youth vote that makes her cool and hip and with it. Do you think they're going to try and get this to a vote before the election, even though they know they're going to lose it? Because as long well, as, yeah, you, yeah, as, long yeah, as sure their opponents sure have 25% of the vote in Parliament, they're not going to get 75% passed. Do you believe they will, just for the political opportunism, at least have a debate on this and get it to a vote? Yes, yes, uh, I, I, of course they will. And, and it's for the reason I said at the start, they just want to talk about anything other than um, the, 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 the economy, the fact that people are having to pay more on their mortgages, uh, the fact that they haven't made any progress on housing, law and, uh, law and order, health, all, all that. Uh, the fundamental things that we want to talk about, uh, that they're, they're scrambling around for every possible um, uh, possum or distraction uh, to talk about. Uh, uh, and so this is the sort of stuff that they love. And uh, we're not going to sort of uh, let them get away with it. Mm. Paul, uh, I just wanted to, are you celebrating the end of the climate crisis now that the United Nations has a new report out that has halved its predictions for climate, uh, for temperature increases around the globe this century? It, it's halved them from 4.5 to sort of 2 to 2.5 uh, percent, so uh, 2.5 degrees Celsius. And even the UN is now saying there is no crisis, uh, things aren't going to be as bad as we thought. Or were oh, you well, unaware that, of this? Is that come out overnight, is it? No, no, no. It's been out for three weeks. Just no one in the mainstream media bothered reporting it. Ah, well, yes, I must have a, I must have a look at it. Yes, I, I, I'm a victim. I, I'm clearly a victim of the mainstream uh, media. Disinformation, <laughs> I think they call it, Paul. Could, you can go on the platform, read a piece by Barry Brill, um, listen to my interview with Simon Court this morning, but it is remarkably good news. It's been covered in the New York Times and I think the Washington Post. You just don't read about it here. I'll have a look. All right, all the best. All the best to you, Paul. Thank you, Paul Goldsmith. What did he? What did he? Was he the, the justice spokesperson? Um, no chance. Sixteen-year-olds uh, are going to get the vote. Go back to school. Go back to school, sixteen-year-olds. Um, I wonder if yeah, Izzy Cook was involved. That woman, that young woman, of course, who did. Oh, I can't remember. Um, but pretty clear. And look, I'm just calling out to the make it sixteen people. If you do not engage with me as a journalist, I think you've got something to hide. And you're clearly playing favourites, aren't you, on this issue?